Do you think people in Skyrim believe in uh... magic in a young well... girl's heart? <laughs> <laughs> How the music can free her whenever it starts. I... And it's magic! <laughs> magic, yes. <laughs> I was going to say horoscopes. Like, I was Horse. born under the side of the pickpocket. You were born under the side of the smithing. We'll never get along. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a one-handed. There's Miss... Want to know a secret of mine? Oh. Cast oak flesh before forging. That's how I've avoided calluses all these years. Oh. Oh, it's a forsworn weapon. Lowercase does 30 points of fire damage. <laughs> okay, well, we will sell that because... Because uh, it has a grammatical error and we are too good for that. Yes, exactly. All right, yay, let's sell things. Let's sell some lingering boogle doodles, shall we? <laughs> no, my boogle doodles! <laughs> you leveled up by selling boogle doodle. Yes, I did. <laughs> Who should I talk to for work? Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. Okay, bye. Thank you very much for your business. You're welcome. Is that Deadpool? It's somebody with a mask on. Hey. It's Deadpool! <laughs> You're the drunken huntsman. A Blood and destruction gone. awaits. Follow me, I need your help. Sweet, who are we gonna go kill? What am I saying? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hooray! One more entourage. One more companion. I have Deadpool in my party. <laughs> you do. I have Deadpool. <laughs> you have Deadpool. I'm happy because <laughs> right. I have Deadpool in my party you now. Like, you like Deadpool. Or heard good things about him. Past. Present. And future. Uh, what are these but points on a map? Who this old guy? Uh, another curious mind, is it? I guess. Come to Argus to find the answers to all life's riddles. Why would I? Uh, I was wondering why you were at the bar. Why does any man seek the comforts of a bottle? Because he's a fool who believes in the lies it spins. So, what is it you want to know? The answer to life's most difficult questions. Or perhaps, its most fundamental ones. They say I knew them all. Well, the truth is, no one does. So boring! No one knows what the next life holds. No one knows how to make love stay. Okay. No one knows how to make you stay. You're trying to leave. No, you're why, giving why us are wisdom. You no. <laughs> why are you leaving? Come back here. Browse, don't I? From squire to squire. Oh, okay. Oh, mine is a pitiful existence indeed. The gods smile on you. Okay, me bye. Uh, you again? Yeah, me. Why again. can't you people leave me alone? I'm no longer a scryer. It's four o'clock. I'm going to bed. I forgive me. I don't know you or your reputation. Ah, my mistake then. Sometimes the older you are, the more you assume. Oh, you think you know all the answers, so you close your eyes and walk the world blind. So you're a scryer, huh? What are the responsibilities of a scryer? A scryer looks into the unknown. But it would be a mistake to call them fortune tellers. When a drought plagues the land, they will tell the farmers when it will rain. It's pronounced draft. And when a loved one dies, <laughs> they provide to them a glimpse of their last words. Past or future, living or dead. Our role is to assuage men's fear, relieve people of their anxiety. I see. As such, a scryer is, in many ways, a priest. Annoying. Why are you no longer a scryer? Because for all my visions and supposed wisdom, I failed to see my daughter joining the Forsworn Rebels. Oh. Despite all my fame oh. and respect, I never saw the strain it would put on my marriage. I may or may 
may not have killed her. <laughs> All my visions have gone dark. Um, uh, well, why not search the reach with me? We may find your daughter. I could. <laughs> but I fear such a confrontation could result in her death. Still, the thought is tempting. Uh, okay, bye. Until the darkness swallows us all. What? <laughs> wow, you are grim. <laughs> Didn't want to add yet another person to our team. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, if I'm going to be killing Forsworn, I'm, he might not like it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> How can I help you? You spilled grape jam on your face. Uh, you... You need to... <laughs> they look so similar. It's kind of eerie. They Two have... peas in a pod. This scene looks comfortable. Hello. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Uh, I need some work. Do you have anything for me? Of course. It's all in this note. Missing merchant. Ooh. Ooh. By order of Ulfric Stormcloak, to all able-bodied men and women of Skyrim, a merchant by the name of Gunther Frostfoot has gone missing. Seen last seen in the area near Trader's Post. Oh, so I can go from the Windhelm Stables. Sounds good. Yeah, Let's we... travel to Windhelm Stables. Yeah, we'll pick up Sophia along the way. Uh, n <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I am not bringing her along ever again. I'm sorry, but she is just... She's a little too much of a handful. <laughs> Not everyone can contain her. Well, that's the thing. She needs to be contained. <laughs> <laughs> she escaped from the lab. We're going to be running into battle, and it's going to be a, a long line of people, and one of the companions in the very back will start speaking up. <laughs> I follow, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yep. Oh, it's Traitor's it's Post. I thought it was Traitor's friend. Post. Oh, you're not, you're not willing to trade. You're trying to betray instead. That is the trading they're doing. The betraying. Let's read your journal. What do you got, Erwan? Me and my new friend Gunther and I are getting along quite well. The other bandits are already getting jealous. He really was a fine gift. I should thank my brother Edward before I slit his throat. <laughs> what do I like best about my friend Gunther? He can keep a secret. I tell him all sorts of juicy tidbits and he never says a thing. He reminds me of my old companion, Skjol. At the time when you nearly got murdered by a Daedric cult. Nothing would, that would frighten off Gunther, though. He's quite stoic, sitting in his chair. On top of that, he gets along with everyone. Doesn't matter if they're short people, fat people, tall people, or cat people. <laughs> That's the thing about my old friend Gunther. He doesn't judge. That was uh, the sequel to Dr. Seuss's Red Fish, Blue Fish, One Fish, yeah. Two Fish. Yeah. <laughs> short people, fat people, tall people, cat people. <laughs> oh, gosh. So Gunther here is dead now. Oh. <laughs> Crimson Dirks. <laughs> These bandits are going to learn the hard way that I'm just as deadly as I am handsome. They won't learn anything because we've killed them all. But anyway, we found a golden ring. I guess we could trade it for uh, Daedric armor. That that would be cool. Oh man. Wait, what happened to the missing merchant? Uh, he's dead. Oh. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? I understand you were sold a set of Daedric armor. That is the truth. Uh, you should trade it for this ring. It's just as valuable and easier to carry. How can I argue with that? What a wordsmith you are! Congratulations yes. on getting an entire set of Daedric armor by swindling this cat! <laughs> uh, oh, it's actually kind of cool looking. It is, yeah. It's very nice, very red. Very crimsony. Yeah, very crimsony. Hmm. I think Lucy needs a set of armor. <laughs> oh, yeah? I've been meaning to ask you something. Got a moment? Look, I know I'm not very good at practical things. You know, combat. I rely on you <laughs> to win our battles, and I shouldn't. So I suppose I was wondering, do you think you could train me? Oh. Ooh, we could train Lucian. Of course, we'll start as soon as we have the time. Fantastic. Can't wait to get cracking. Knuckles. Sorry, I keep meaning to give you this. Since this arrangement seems to be working out all right for us so far. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's a Dwemer resonance sphere. Just something my father gave to me before I left home for when I found myself someone to travel with. Oh. 
When activated, it resonates with its twin, which I'll always keep on my person. What? That way, if we're ever separated, all you have to do is give us a rub and we'll be able to find each other, no matter how far apart we are. Handy, right? Wow, teleportation. I mean, hopefully we won't have to use it very often. I'll stick to you like a... Like a... Oh, I don't know. Something sticky. <laughs> yep. That's what I'll do. Daedric helmet. Heavy no. armor. I cut his head. <laughs> oh, gosh. You are terrifying with him. Uh, I'd like to start your training. You would? Now. <laughs> All right, then. Where shall we start? Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's teach you how to use heavy armor. Oh, I do find it tiresome lugging heavy armor around. <laughs> but if it keeps me safe... <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> I felt that, too. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. The Rising Dead, someone please help. A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic. Well, let's go stop them from doing that. You know what I love is the fact that uh, we put Daedric armor on Lucian and he's like, Hello, can, can I inquire about something? <laughs> Just like this this sweet voice coming from such intimidating <laughs> armor. Pardon me, my shins are broken now. <laughs> yes? I have some questions for you. Of course you do. You're the inquisitive type. What's on your mind? Let's see, I'd like to know more about you. Ah, my favorite subject. <laughs> what more did you want to know? I would like to know about your family. Family? What family? What are you talking about? I spawned from oblivion just like any member of the Thalmor. <laughs> <laughs> then what was that about your father earlier? Oh yes, that. He was Mayroon's Dagon. What? Yes, I'm the spawn of Mayroon's <laughs> Dagon. <laughs> All right, all right. I am my parents' firstborn son. They were both very talented mer in their own right, and as their firstborn, they had high expectations for me. And you exceeded them. After I said my first word, that very same day, my mother hired my first tutor. <laughs> Eloquence and diction were very important to her, you see. I think she wanted me to become a bard or a troubadour. Of course, I was later blessed, if you want to call it that, by two younger sisters down the line. <laughs> and our parents shifted their expectations onto them instead. Hooray! A blessing oh. in disguise, really. Ah. <laughs> but then my father pulled the ruse with Burwell and, uh, well, you know the rest. Ruse? Ruse. Thankfully, neither of my sisters got involved with the Thalmor. Uh, were you close with them? I suppose we were close when they weren't trying to make my life a complete nightmare. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as patient back then as I am now, and they enjoyed finding ways to get me to snap. Oh. Hiding notes on enchantments, putting soul gem shards in my boots, setting oh. my hair on fire. Oh. <laughs> they might have been thorns in my side, but they were my thorns. Aw. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, right? Any siblings of your own? Uh, I suppose I'm an only child now. Consider yourself lucky. It was a nightmare. But at the same time, I'm thankful they were around. I might have turned out differently. Hmm. More boring and prudish. <laughs> Gods, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I do so cherish our dynamic. Oh, me too. I talk, and you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if using a one-handed weapon would be more suitable for my frame. But it really doesn't suit my personality. <laughs> it suits your personality as well as Lucian's armor suits him. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Lucian, how are you feeling? I got to say, Yes. Just all the yes. Fort, Fort Newgrad, the successor to Fort Oldgrad. Oh, a bunny! Follow the bunny, it'll take you to Narnia. I think you just combined two things. <laughs> didn't you? Just to baffle me. <laughs> what did Tally say about Burwale? How did Skyrim ever survive without me in it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, never saw me 
Who's mumbling? Is someone there? Uh oh, I heard oh. someone asked if we were here. No. Get on the boat! Everyone get on the boat! We'll sail away! Come sail away! Come sail with me! I'm sailing away! <laughs> you know, you're actually moored. That's not changed yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm swimming away! <laughs> uh, would now be a bad time to mention that I never learned how to swim. <laughs> He's just standing there on the shore! Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone else went in the water. He's just standing there. <laughs> Continuity! <laughs> hey, look! It's an Alec here! Hello? Brandish? I think. Maybe. Hello? Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh, yeah! It's, it's, oh, it's, well, he's hostile! We'll just... Why did he attack us? <laughs> ah, 1v8! Oh. I can definitely take this! Deadpool! What was that guy's deal? Are there people here that have. <laughs> that guy's naked! Oh, and yep. T posing. One of them again. Oh. Uh, he, he's he's not wearing any clothes. Or a head. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> he has butter on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the conductor of the poop train. <laughs> I like to think of philosophy as a way of conclusively resolving the big questions in life. Or is it? Discuss? <laughs> no! <laughs> There's a guy with an icicle in him. Hey, you know when you die and you have this massive erection as you're lying in the oh road? Oh gosh, honey, no! Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> I mean, look at it, it's right in his crotch, how could I not? <laughs> it looked more like it was in, like... His calf, but whatever. Farewell, you poor dead stiff. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Is that um, a locket in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Oh, it's rigor mortis. <laughs> <laughs> and we're uh, moving on. <laughs> we are moving on, yes. Oh, did you find a path up the mountain? I think so. I think we might be on the right, the right track. Baby, I was born this way. <laughs> Would you On a mountain? Whoa! Ah, you found an ogre! Oh! Kill it! Kill the ogre! Whoa! Tally, you don't have any armor! No, not Tally! You fight as bad as you smell, bro. <laughs> That's another enemy slave. Ooh. Tally, you keep getting knocked on your ass. Yeah, we need to get him some armor soon, I think. Yeah, give him your bone armor. Uh, aw, but I like my bone armor. Give him your blue armor. I like the blue armor. <laughs> we'll find some armor you hate to put him in. No, I, I just want to put him in something, but I just, I like those armors and I, I like to switch it up. If it's too good, you can't have it, but if it's not good enough. I, honey, <laughs> stop trying to guilt me over no. this. <laughs> Sorry, not my intention, just making a joke. <laughs> it would be, would be thin ice? I don't know. Whatever. And the bracket named Ragnar was boastful no more. <laughs> When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Encore! Uh-oh, spaghetti o uh oh <laughs> spaghetti Oh, that was so uh, dead cool! Yeah. <laughs> who, who do you think it was, Crime? <laughs> no, I thought it was this guy. <laughs> Ritual side. What? Who was that guy, anyway? A bandit. Oh, okay. We can ignore him and... Here we go! Uh -oh. Oh, what whoa. in the world is this? <laughs> okay, so it actually is zombies. Whoa. The rumors were true. They're actual Whoa. zombies. Whoa. You'll have to get Horrifying to look at. Whoa. They ain't got skin. Or if they do, it's rotting off. Necromancer says, uh, An apprentice of mine recently discovered an ancient tome. A tome is like nothing I've ever seen. A conjuration spell. And then you conjured up a bunch of zombies. Great, thanks. Oh, boy. This Molag Ball is my wit. Don't go worshipping Molag Ball, <laughs> you idiot. You idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he's an idiot. <laughs> Idle hands are Molag Ball's plaything. We completed the mission. Our, our mission was just to come out here and see if there were zombies. Turns out, yeah, zombies. What has gone wrong with your necromancy spell if you bring them back to life and they're zombies? I'm a necromancer. I'm going to bring you back to life. But I'm not a very good necromancer, so your life's going to suck. <laughs> well, since we're in the area, let's check out whatever this thing is over here. Oh, it's a dwarven ruin. Ruins! What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, loly, oly, 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 oly. Oly, 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 oly. 
Let me consult my guide to Skyrim. No, not the Ohio Lair in Skyrim. We <laughs> Ohio Lair in Skyrim? <laughs> it's nothing but farmland! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Lockgar's tomb. Let's check it out. You'll never catch any of the Thalmor venturing into these ruins. It's beneath us. Literally. Ah! <laughs> Ah, Such ah. history in these narrow ruins. A living history if you count the Draugr. That reminds me of my old boyfriend. Not dead, but not living. <laughs> what? 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 All right. Finally, I have found the location of Lockgar's powerful shroud. Now I just need to find a way to get that relic from the bottom of that waterfall. I don't need to loot his tomb. Comma might, might awaken him. him. Yeah, uh, okay. I just need that shroud, then I'm on my way. Bunch of lockpicks. The Nords are a stubborn breed, aren't they? Even their corpses need to have the last word. If we die here, do you think we stay dead? Well, they didn't. Perhaps best not to think about it. If we die in the game, we die for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not going to get that reference. Do you think the ancient Nords were obsessed with mead as well? Why don't you ask them? The next one that comes out of the ground. Oh. It oh, goes yeah. down pretty far, huh? Yeah, it does. Do elves need oxygen? I can't remember. Well, probably. You're gonna get crushed by the pressure of the water on you. The breathing is the least of our problems at this point. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Shabella. Shroud. Careful, resurfacing too quickly could mean the barometric pressure crushes you from the inside. Ah, I made it! Yay, you didn't die down there! Yes? Can we trade? One of these days, I'll have you carry my things. There we go! And it looks great on him! You know, you never ask me how I'm feeling. Yes, I it's do. It's always about you, isn't it? What? You're Callie, you're weird. <laughs> I think he might be gaslighting you. I think he is. <laughs> dagger of Chaos and Dagger of Stunning. Ooh, who wants double dagger? Uh -huh. Oh, this guy! Whoa. Hey, you know, we're gonna take Whoa. your daggers! Why did you, you don't mind, do you? Dagger. Obviously you do. <laughs> yeah! Woo. Oh, I thought that was uh, an undead guy. It was Lucien! <laughs> you really gotta take off the helmet. <laughs> Good work, team. Thank you. It was mostly me. Honey, we all worked together. <laughs> but some of us work together better than others. Honey. But the key word here is cohesion. Some of us have it. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to tell you. I, I just want. I just wanted to tell you. You're a real good friend. You're a real good friend. You're a real tasty looking friend. You're I... real tasty. Can, can I swipe your head off? I, I can actually do that. I can swipe your head off. And drink you from the neck. Yeah, it's, it, it, it would be pretty easy to do that, you know, because on account that I'm a bear. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that face right there. I'm a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> yeah. Skyrim's hookers are often hunted for their tusks. Horkers. And, oh. Not hookers. Oh, I'm glad they're not hunting prostitutes. 